In 2012, we were 100 years old, so we're just, this is really the culmination of our centennial observance. We thought it would be appropriate to look at the state of illustration art 100 years after our founding artist, Howard Pyle. Of our eight artists, um, one uh, has died, Bernie Fuchs, who's really our uh, earliest artist in the exhibition, uh, died in 2009, was very influential, a little bit after the mid 20th century in bringing new and innovative styles into illustration. And then our other seven happily are, are still living. Um, and uh, each one, uh, I would say, at some point in their career, and some of them throughout their careers, have used the traditional media of painting and drawing that Howard Pyle and his generation used. And then some have added to that or gone another step into uh, new technology that's available today, particularly character design for animation. Our eight artists are divided into particular categories um, of excellence in illustration um, nowadays. And Phil Hale is the category that really represents illustration and painting. And we think of painting in the fine art sense. He's worked in both areas. He has said that both his illustration and his fine art painting are grounded in the same uh, foundation, and that is storytelling. So even though he is what might be classified as a fine art painter, He's a storyteller as well, and that has, as he has said, carried over from his illustration work. He asks that his paintings not be framed. That's just part of his aesthetic, um, as not too unusual with a contemporary artist working today. Ralph Eggleston, he is a production designer for Pixar. He was the production designer for uh, Finding Nemo and WALL-E. And um, he, among other more traditional media, he uses digital media. And so we had a bit of a discussion going back and forth with Pixar and the artist and ourselves about how best to frame or not to frame um, his digital paintings, uh, how um, they would be best represented to reflect uh, sort of his hands-on process as opposed to something conceived as for a museum setting. That's another example of things you can face when you have living artists. The role uh, and the accessibility of illustration has been advanced with new technology. And in this exhibition, we have two artists who represent that. One is Peter DeSev, uh, who it was the character designer for, among other uh, works, the Ice Age uh, films. And then Ralph Eggleston, whom I mentioned, um, working for Pixar. Uh, and Peter DeSev is interesting. He made a comment about, although his work, the end product of his work is on the screen, animated, he said, um, despite all the technology going on around me in the studio, I'm the guy with the pencil and paper, you know, drawing still. So, um, whereas Eggleston, as I said, sometimes works directly in digital media itself. We hope, of course, as always, to have the audience who knows us and loves us already. Um, but certainly, we would be branching out, as you say, to people, particularly in our region, uh, who are not used to seeing uh, animation art, for example, the original work for animation art uh, in a museum setting. Uh, we would like to see artists and illustrators, young people who might have the desire or ambition to work uh, in those fields, as uh, our artists did. Many of them said, you know, they, in their, in their youth, uh, they looked at everything from Disney Cinderella to Warner Brothers cartoons, which seem quite archaic to us now, but in their youth were, you know, advanced. Um, and uh, people who are very used to seeing animation uh, in the movies and on their home screens, uh, but have not seen it before in a museum setting and might like to know a little bit about the artist's motivation and the artist's processes, we welcome them.